years. What's that, Amran? Fighting people is different, smarter. You say you've decided you anyway. want to become a werewolf. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, it's a new day. Good morning, good morning. Come on, Amran. Had time to go home, get some clothes, come back here to White Run, and let's see if we can't talk to this person. I think I, I reread the, the book on Helgen, and it said, uh, I need to walk up here and go through the main gate. So let's try that. Hopefully we will be able to talk to the fella in the, the drunken huntsman. What fog? Who? Oh, it's, it, it, it's your daughter. She knew you were coming. Papa, the next time you go away, I want to come with you. When I go away, I go to war. That's no place for a little girl. Every knight needs a squire. I can help you with your sword. Things like that. Nice try, Blossom. But I'm not a knight. I'm a mercenary. The answer is still no. Besides, your mother would miss you too much. Yeah, right. Alright, now that that's sorted. I can't believe it's I'm you. Sure find what you're I was just asking for. around if, if anyone knew where I might know, find you. I might have it stored away. Uh, so now you're gonna talk to me. So you were looking for me. What are you talking about? My master and I recently arrived here in Skyrim from Citadel. Your master? It's been a long journey, but he sent me to see if I could find you. I thought I'd check the tavern and in here and wait around first, no and then set out for the other towns tomorrow. Sure we can meet your but fortunately, needs. the gods favor me today, as you seem to have found me instead. He's heard of you escaped from that awful dragon attack and urgently needs to speak with you. I know nothing more than that. He's at the inn I'll in Fulcry. Would you please meet him at your earliest side. convenience? He only wishes to talk to you. Yeah, he gave me this note to give you, and a small token of his appreciation. Now then, I bid you good day as I have another Papa, errand to run. No rest right. for the weary, as they say. What good day. Well, well, thank you, Patsy. Here, yeah, I'll give you some gold. Listen, Braith. What if you have need of hunting you. supplies, then you've come to the right place. Really? Do you have those steel arrows yet? Good to see. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Well, what do you know? Thank you. It was my pleasure, friend. Shipment must have come in last night. All right, Braith, you need to leave your, your father alone. He's doing companion business now. Come on. I'm right behind you. Let's go. You lead, I'll follow. All right, so a courier came to the door this morning and said that your armor was ready. Let's go. Hopefully Yolan is here and not still in bed. A few septums for my supper is all I ask. So apparently I don't have a bounty. Scaring a little girl by turning into a werewolf, I guess is not a offense that they can really charge me with. But Julianos didn't like it. I'm still trying to regain Here's a her favor, Yolen. We Grey Manes got just as much to be proud of as them battle boards, but you won't see us with our noses in the air. Good morning. About my order. Is it ready? I suppose so, yes. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Did we even 
I don't I've even know if I. Uh... Fighting people is different, smarter. Some of them. Hold on. Whoops, did I steal something? Didn't mean to. So I need steel, right? Okay. Please tell me you have steel. Got a lot of steel to shape. Okay. I want to buy some. Gods be praised. My thing's that bad? You that desperate? Look at this. <laughs> I don't know how mm -hmm. you blacksmiths stay in business. I guess you just use up the steel. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can't find some steel. Friend, what have you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. Okay, you don't have any arrows, but let's see about steel. Of course, no blacksmith sells steel. I guess y'all just use Good it all up there. for yourselves. Now, I think there were some ingots here that I'm able to help myself to. Right behind you. Did we, um... I understand. Of course. I don't think this was, uh... Strength and I'm gonna take these. I'm sorry. don't have enough all right here can I help you I understand of course So now we need to um, find some more steel so I can finish the rest of your armor. Um, all right, let me go in in the shop. Maybe he's got some. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give I a hope, holler if I you have you any do. questions. Welcome to war. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything I to want, suit your needs. I want steel arrows, which you don't carry. And I want some steel, which you don't carry. What What is going on? Good doing business with you. Nobody has it. Come on, Amron. All right. Was there something else I needed to do while we were here? I'm trying to think. Might as well give your daughter a real sword. She looks like she's ready for some action. Mm, let's see, I don't think we have any more with the companions to do. Could have sworn there was something. Mm -mm. Alright, well, just. 
just let it go. Let them red god men just stand around for a while longer before we speak to them. All right, let's head back to Riverwood then and see if um, Alvor has some steel. Alvor. Alvor. Well, hell well. Look who it is. Yes. How have you been? Good. How are you? What have you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I'm looking for some steel. I hope I hope you, of all people, might have some. All right. Oh, this is not looking good. No arrows. One steel ingot. You're kidding me. I'll take it. Right. Was there See some, you around. Was there some steel over here? Oh, this is iron. Um, did you have corundum? Glad I you're know. here. We can what steal in corundum, I believe. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Corundum ore. This is just sad. That's all Keep I can safe. say. All right. Um. Let's uh, go ahead. I'm really not doing much. All right. Let's get the boots. What can I get for you? I understand. Of course. Okay, we're getting closer. Now, I want to put an enchantment on the gloves, and I still need more steel. Mm, I should have, um... Gosh, I hate to keep going back and forth to, uh... To White Run. Um, let's, uh... Let's head to Solitude. Well, this, this is definitely an improvement in the weather. Let's see what the, um... I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I've got so many things I'm trying to juggle at once. Let's see what happened with the Explorers Guild. Latoria. Latoria greets you. Sun and moon. Oh my goodness. Fafnir. This is his home now, huh? Um, Ariana. How's your day faring? All right. What have you got for sale? Best prices you are going to find in all of Skyrim. Take a peek. I think it's time for me to get some of this Explorer's Guild uh, armor. Good luck out there. You don't sell steel, do you? you could possibly need for your next expedition. Nah. Well, that's all right. I wouldn't expect you to. Goodbye, then. Okay. Uh, where are you? If we're not doing anything. Yes. Y'all sure. might, might as well help you go and excavate. Excavate. I'll be back in a few days. You too. What can I do? What do you want? Excavate. Of course, Guildmaster. Be careful. 
Anybody up here? Anybody home? Oh my goodness, the raccoon has made itself home at home. Oh, Professor. Well met. So, nothing else? It's hard, messy work and meticulous, careful work at the same time. You don't dig hard enough, and you'll never get to it. All right. You take care now. Yeah, I thought maybe we, uh, we're gonna follow up on what we found. And we'd call a pass. Wait a minute, hold on then. Since you are not doing anything. Hello? Mm-hmm. Excavate. All right, then. I'm not sure about having this raccoon here. At least it's not following me on my adventures. is orient around. Maybe he's got something for me. Oh, there he is. Orion. Okay, well. Nothing else. What, what artifact am I looking for? As a matter of fact, I don't even know. Snow-clad ruins. That's not in Skyrim. Um, I'm having trouble locating the artifact. Oh, really? Yes. Well, it's entirely possible that the artifact may have moved from there. I'll continue to do some more research. You do In that. the meantime, here's another possible artifact you could look into. Avangard. And and Angavund. What the? F I don't think that's in Skyrim either. No, it might be. All right. Well, maybe that's something we can do. But let's go see about getting some steel. Anybody else I need to talk to? Anything else? I don't think I have any, um, items to drop off. Alright, I think we're good. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I put these, um, these relics on display? Because for some reason, somebody slipped the amulet in my, my pocket. Let me see if these will display. Plus, hold on, hold on. Hormia's eye staff. Wait, Here let, you will find the let me just see. We, we didn't even test this out. A ball of bright light that lasts 30 seconds and sticks where it strikes. A spack of ice that does 55 points of frost damage to health and stamina. Oh, that's... Masks that's kind of fancy. Maybe I ought to try it out. The Marefic Dragon Colt. These masks were only bestowed you think I can... High Is there somewhere I can do this that won't cause a panic? As gods. Long sealed away with their masters. Quite a lot of work to unearth these fantastic finds. Mm, that is something. Quite fearsome. All right, but we're gonna put it on display. I, I'm not gonna carry this with me.
Well, we had four things we could put on display. That's good news. 514. Good. So Orion tells me that he wants us to get 550 items on display. I hope you're up to it. You know, it's strange having you as a companion, but in both sense of the word. But come on, let's go. Now, if there's still a steel shortage all the way up here in solitude, something is just terribly wrong. Oh, here he is. Baron. Hey there. The finest weapons tell, and armor. Tell me you have some steel. No arrows, okay. Mm. I cannot believe this. I really can't. No corundum, nothing. Keep safe. Mm. Oh, I'm almost out of ideas. Where you think we should go next? Well, I guess I can enchant the gloves and give those to you. And just, you'll be short the helmet. Um. Well, let's head back to Riverwood. We can enchant them back there. And it's still daylight. I need to enchant this too. see the steel gloves anymore. Still here. Let me add this. I understand. Let's see if I can. Of course. ended up going on display. Now I gotta get a, a whole nother pair. Oh boy. What time is it anyway? I'm sure Alvor is probably already here. Yeah, he's gone. And I can't make the gloves because I've got no steel. say we call it an evening and we start out tomorrow excuse me to 
try to get the rest of your armor together. All right, Amron. Looks like we're headed back to White Run. Let me pray though before we go. Julianos, I know you're mad at me and you've taken your favor away, but it was all a misunderstanding. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. You know, it would be nice if Yolan had a proper work ethic. Oh, here he is. Good morning. We Grey Manes got just as much to be proud of as them battle boards, but you won't see us with our noses in the air. Look, I either need to buy some steel from you if you have it, or I need you to make me another pair of gloves. I also need some more soul gems, it looks like. Got a lot of steel to shape. Gods be praised. Still no nothing. All right then, let uh I need you to make me something then. Ah, uh, yes. All right, well. I'll, I'll take those. Oh, I think it was these. All right. Further away than I would a smaller one. If you keep it in close, you'll have more control. But we'll have to wait again for him to strike. make those. There's no yes, steel. Exactly. Let's go. When you have a big heavy weight Let's see what's going on here. Relax, new blood. I've been hunting on my own for years. What's that, Amron? Fighting people is different, smarter. You say you've decided you decided you want to become a werewolf. All right. Let's talk to Ayla. Ayla, I have someone that wants to join the circle. Hello, friend. I'd be honored, Harbinger. Come on. We're not gonna wait till midnight since Codlack is no longer with us. There's no reason to be secretive. Sire you myself. So, Ayla, I'm gonna need you to do the honors. was quite something. But now you're back to normal. Welcome to the inner circle of the companions. 
Ayla. Can I help you? Thank you for your help. You may go now. I'm heading home, if you need me. All right. Okay. We followed you all the way here to, uh, Falkreath, where we actually need to speak to, uh, Marcus Janus. Excuse me, come on. Excuse me. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. We in the right place. Be careful. You know what? I was supposed to read the letter, Amran. All right, dear friend. After I got word of your survival from the terrible dragon attack in Helgen, I came to Skyrim as fast as I could. I've sent my trusted messenger, Patsy, in the hope that he will be able to find you and give you this letter. You are one of the only survivors and you may have explicit knowledge that is vital to me. I would very much like to discuss the events of that day with you. These are truly desperate times and I hope you will accept this small gift of gold as a token of my appreciation. Would you meet with me in Dead Man's Drink in Fall Creek? All right. Now, let's go back to Dead Man's Drink. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. So I, I got, just got, got too far ahead of myself. I hope he forgives us for coming in here looking like this. But you know, werewolf business. Oh, hello. Are you Marcus Janus? You wanted to see me about Helgen. Oh, bless the divines, you came! Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? Well... I arrived after there were reports of Helgen 
going dark, so I was not actually there for the attack. But when we got to the gates, we saw a black dragon flying off. And when I went through the gates, the city was totally destroyed. Well, no, now that you mention it. I doubt any civilians made it out of there alive. The place was laid to rest. To waste. Then it's as I feared. My brother and his family are lost. God damn it all. I'd hoped for better news. Even if they did survive the dragon attack, the bandits killed them for sure. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. I have it on good authority there is a man known only as Val inside the keep. He's the leader of a small group of... mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. That they've come out of hiding is beyond mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. Insurrectionists? And you know this man? His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. Of course it is. We served for many years together in the Imperial Legion, as captains under Titus Mede II during the Great War. It's Mede. He was a good man in those days. An honorable man. Then the Aldmeri invaded and murdered his wife, son, and daughter in cold blood. Oh, that's terrible. Well... What exactly does this have to do with me? I mean, I'm responding to rumors that Helga needed to be rebuilt after the dragon attack. And somehow, I'm here. I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded, of course. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding band. What are you doing with it? If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius Tiberius Artoria on uh -oh. urgent business. Like I can say that show fast them this three note, times. My seal, but tell them it's for Valerius. His eyes only. Please, return to me as soon as you can. I'll prepare to leave and be ready to go when you return. Make haste, young one. And may fortune favor the foolish. All right. So be it. All right, Omar. Let's go. Let's see now, they do have a blacksmith here. Let's see if the steel shortages come this far. Hello? Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. No. There's one out on the road. Okay. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. I could be convinced to catch him. Oh, it's smart to demand something up front. Some gold now and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. All right. Why is everybody Steel's good, but loyalty's place? Better. I'm loyal to Dengear first and the Empire second. Well, you know, I'd like to make an investment in your business. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Let's see what you can do with this. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Now, what have you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself? I just need some, some steel. Damage? Just some steel. Steel arrows would be nice too. Oh, nice. This is promising. 
Look at this steel ingot. I'm taking them all. You're the only person that has it. Thank you. I'm going to use your forge. I hope you're all right well, with sir. that. Well, at least this table. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and strengthen this. Wow. Why is this armor so powerful? Well, let's see. I guess we're headed to um, Helgen. Would that be right? Let's go. Let me look at the map. Yep. I'm not seeing any bloody heads indicating that this is a Stop right there. Don't even think about moving. You see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. Now, who are you? And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak. Easy now. I'm not here to start any trouble. Then you need to give me a reason why we shouldn't just kill you where you stand. I have an urgent matter that I need to discuss with Valerius. I know he's here. Never heard of him. You are mistaken. You're lying. There's nobody by that name here. Now, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Again, I will say I have an urgent message. From Marcus Janus, I must be given passage. Don't know him either. You're lying. I'm beginning to run out of patience with So you. am I. Leave now. I'm one breath away from a transformation. Because I'm hungry. I haven't had my dinner yet. Come on. I know who you are. And you're no bandits. I don't know who you are, stranger. Or what you want. But I advise you to choose your words very carefully. I have been. Out. I have been choosing them very carefully. It's my actions that you need to watch out for. Here, I have a gift from Marcus. It's Val's wife's wedding ring. Let me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus? From the war, Marcus Janus. Why didn't you say Stop so? Stop being so stupid. You know that's what I said. 
Here's a letter from him to Valerius, his eyes only. Very well. I will take you inside. But all of us have our eyes on you. And if you try and start trouble, it will be the last trouble you ever start. Oh. Follow me. Believe me, it'll be yours. Alright, let's put our weapons away. Alfring, what do you think you're doing? Who is this person, and why have you brought them here? He has an urgent message for you from Marcus Janus. He was alone, and I thought you would want to talk to him. What? Marcus Janus? Alfring, have you gone completely mad? That's impossible. I thought the same thing, sir, but it's true. He showed me a letter to you with Marcus's seal. It's real, all right. And, sir, Somehow, Marcus has found Sabrina's wedding ring, and sent it to you. Very well. We'll see about this. Balfring, you are dismissed. All of you may resume your patrols. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are or why you're here, so you'd better have some good answers to my questions. May I see that ring? Yes, of course. It's yours. You say you were sent by Marcus Janus? Yes. Where is he now? He's in Falkreath, waiting for me to return, with your answer. And do you know how he came into possession of this ring? He must have found it in the Imperial City, after you were imprisoned. Yes, yes, I suppose that may have been possible, but I... This is all so overwhelming. I'm sorry for the loss of your family. Thank you. I love them very deeply. I nearly went mad after they were murdered by those Altmeri dogs. I wanted nothing but vengeance. Every day of my life is burned with nothing but the desire to make them pay for their murders. But enough of that. Uh, let's see this letter you brought. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, it's certainly you all right. But what do you want with me? Tell me, how has he found me here? He heard a bandit named Val had taken over the fort. He thought it might be you. Very clever, that one. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> that's not far from the truth, though. Fitting ruse is that's about what we've become. Living our lives in the shadows, hiding and skulking about like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of cheese. You seem to be an honorable man. He said you served with distinction in the war. Honor? Bah. Any honor I had died with the first Aldmeri diplomat I assassinated. I'm not the same man he knew. But no doubt he's filled your head with tales of glory from the war, and stories of the Keepers of Hatu. No, I'm afraid that man no longer exists. This hatred. It's consumed me, taken my life. I suppose I would still be rotting down in that damn prison were it not for Marcus. Now I'm just rotting here instead. And rot is nonetheless still rot. The only difference, really, is where and how. Well, maybe Marcus can help. Perhaps that's why he wants to meet with you. Why would he want to help me? After he sees what I've become, he'll leave soon enough. But go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. At least then we can say our proper goodbyes to one another. We never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please leave me in peace. Is that a red god man over here? What are you doing with these people? Course told me how you fought an entire prison of Thalmor soldiers to rescue him. You have the heart of a sword seeker, friend. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but 
be careful. All right, let's go. Okay, we're headed back to Fall Creek. Wait a minute. What are you doing dressed in armor? I talked to Val and he's agreed to meet with you. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go, but there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. Um, yeah, well, let's do this later. It's, it's night time. Oh, I understand. Please, don't tarry too long, though, okay? Well, we'll just get a room here and... come and get you in the morning. All right. Let's get a room. <laughs>